हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल लर्न आई टी टूडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट क्रिएशन ऑफ कैटलॉग आइटम विद द यूज ऑफ फ्लो सो ऑन टूडे सेशन आई विल टेल यू हाउ टू क्रिएट अ कैटलॉग आइटम एंड इन नेक्स्ट सेशन आई विल मेक अ फ्लो विच विल बी अटैच टू दिस कैटलॉग आइटम सो लेट्स प्रोसीड फर्दर एंड क्रिएट अवर कैटलॉग आइटम ऑल राइट सो लेट्स मूव टू अवर कैटलॉग क्रिएशन थिंग लाइक मेनटेन आइटम्स so i will type maintain items here so as soon as i'll click here you will see there are lot of catalog items which is created already in the system so we will create a new catalog item for our session all right so let's click on new button here so here we can type our name so what we can create is like uh, suppose we have catalog item details like this so catalog item name will be this and we will be creating these variable set and variables and then in our next session we will create our flow which will be attached to this catalog item so let's proceed further and try to create the catalog item with the required details so let's copy the name of this catalog item from here and let's create a catalog item user group access request so our catalog will be service catalog here and there is a category so category is the important part here uh, through which this catalog item will be categorized right so it can be under uh, services part because uh, we are accessing a request uh, with related to user or group all right so i will click on services so now we can define any uh, short description so i am keeping short description and catalog item name as same and now what i will do is like i will save this record and you will see this catalog item is created and now there is options variables and variable sets right so as soon as we see there is a variables and variable set so we have our set of variables and variable set here so what we will do is like these are the common values requested for manager and location these are the common uh, variable which is created under any variable set right so i will create these three uh, variable under a variable set and i will add that variable set in our catalog item so there will be like uh, two variable set one for this and second variable set for the, uh, for this all right so this way you will uh, try you will learn also to create variables and a variable set and how you want to utilize variable set in our catalog item so all these things you can see in this session all right so let's try to create a variable set so i will click on new button under variable set so it is a single row variable set so now i will give a title so user details can be the title and this can be utilized in many catalog items not just a single one all right so let's click on save and now you will see we can add a uh, variable here so first variable would be requested for so i will type here requested for and uh, type would be reference this will be referencing the user table so you have to make sure whether you are selecting a correct user table so i have selected sets underscore user and this field will be a mandatory field all right so i will define a order here so this variable is created under this variable set and now similarly i will create two more manager and location the 
this will be also referencing to the user table this will also be a mandatory field all right and other field under this variable set would be location I will select here CMN location table. I will click on submit, click on update. Now you will see we are back to our catalog item user group access request. Now you can see we have our variable set added here with an order of 100 and now we will create other variables. So what are our other variables so request type user role group name so why we are not creating this uh, variable and un, uh, under variable set because this is specific to this particular catalog item that's why it's not required to create it under variable set so variable set is created when it has to be utilized in multiple items right so these three details can be common in many catalog items right so that's why we have created these three variables under a variable set all right so let's try to create other variables which is specific to this catalog item so now i will create a new variable here so it will be mandatory as well and we will select it type as multiple choice okay so now let me save it okay so let me include none here so let me try to save now why it was not allowing to save because i have set this field as mandatory and I didn't select a none here. Now we can see there are the question choices added here. So we will add our two options here. One is like user provision and group provision. All right. So based on this, our other field will be populated or displayed, not populated. It will be displayed uh, to the user for fulfilling the details. So now I will add first one is like user provision and second one is like group provision. Now let's try to see how our form looks as of now. Okay, our form is not looking great. So let's see what type I have took here under requested type. Okay, so here I think we have to take a select box. Where is, where is it? Yeah. So now as soon as I will select user provision, group provision and none as well. Alright, so now let's proceed to our catalog item and create other variables too. So now let's try to create a user role and group name. User role. So this will be single line text and this mandatory will be set based on the value selection. So I will select a uh, value as 300. So this is the order for this variable and I will create one more variable. What was that? That was related to group name.
so group name i can reference and as well as i can uh, add it as a simple string field so uh, you can keep it both ways so just just i am selecting a group table just for better understanding this order will be 400 and now let's try to see our form how it looks yeah so these are the variables and one more variable is left that is business justification that will come under variable set yeah So now let's go to our variable set, click on new, single row variable set. Business justification set. We will add it as 500. Yeah and I will open this variable set add the variable here that could be mandatory order will be 100 and now you will see business justification is added but its type can be multi-line text okay so now if we try to open this form you will see how it looks like and now what we will do is like we will write a validation on those two fields so let's go to our catalog item again we will write a ui policy you can see i have added a condition here when user provision is selected when requested type is user provision now i will add a catalog ei policy action here so here user provision field will be there user role this will be true uh, mandatory true and visible true and submit it and similar way uh, we can write other one is like for group provision so we will add other catalog ui policy i will do insert and stay so what in insert and stay will do is like it will create a new catalog ui policy with the updated details and we can add our catalog ui policy action here So now this variable group name would be mandatory and visible true. Alright, so let's proceed to our uh, catalog item. And 
and now you can see other two fields are hidden currently requested for is empty so let me select any user manager is empty let me select any manager and now you will see this request type user provision I will select user provision so it will uh, uh, display user role field to add the details and if you select the group name here so it will allow you to select a group name so which group you have to be part of so this is the way how you can create a catalog item and currently I will show you uh, this catalog item doesn't have any flow right now so we will create a flow in the next session all right and we will see like first level approval second level approval how it is created and generated and how flow works uh, with the catalog item so let's proceed further and try to create a flow for that catalog item so let's move to our catalog item first so we will move to our catalog item so this is our catalog item before moving ahead i will try to open this form first so there are fields like requested for manager location request type user provision or group provision so for user provision we have first level of approval and for group provision we have two level of approval and both the provisioning will have their individual task with them and as well as i will be adding some of the stages as well in terms of flow all right so let's proceed further and try to create a flow for this catalog item so i will type a flow designer here so as soon as i will click on flow designer it will open a new tab where this designer will open and now you can see there is uh, multiple options or multiple existing flows subflows actions execution and connections which is displayed here and now what we will do is like we will click on create new and from create new we will click on flow and we will define a flow name so flow name could be this one and other description you can add as per your needs so i have clicked on submit okay so let me provide a user group access request flow all right so there was some error uh, so that uh, duplicate name so i have corrected it anyway so now what we have to do is like we will click on add a trigger add a trigger we will add a service catalog here because we are creating this flow for our catalog item and now what we will do is like we will get the catalog variables and uh, catalog item so that we can utilize it in our flow all right so i will click on action so here i will find get catalog variable action here i will add the relevant record requested item and here we will select our catalog item that is user group access request as soon as we will click on this catalog item then we will see all the variables started displaying we will move to this to selected and click on done so this is the first part which we have to do every time uh, when we are creating a flow uh, for different items all right so now what we will do is like we have now variables we have got it now we will check the conditions user provision or group provision because for user provision we have first level of approval and for group provision we have two levels of approval so let's see how we can do it further so now we will uh, check for approval because our uh, manager approval is common for both of them so now we will select a record so record will be requested item record and here we are making some changes 
so that flow can work correctly so i have added manager here and done so this is the first level of approval so we will define annotation also first level of approval this will uh, remember the things what you have done this is just done text what you are performing as part of this activity all right and similarly we will check the condition here if ask for approval state is approved so if this first uh, second step is approved what we have to do further so either we have two condition user provision or group, uh, group provision so we will check the condition both of them so we will click on flow logic and we will click on if now we will check the uh, condition from variable uh, suppose requested type is user provision and now what action we have to perform when user provision is selected we will create a catalog task so record will be requested item and task user provision task okay just for reference you can add much more details there so i have created a catalog task if uh, this catalog item request type is user provisioning now what i will do is like i will check one more flow logic if catalog variable request type is group provision so we are as soon as we are selecting group provision so we are sending one more approval as for approval and now here we will select some record some means a requested item record and now anyone can approve or reject this will be group name manager where is the manager yeah this is the manager so i am sending second level of approval to that particular group manager whatever group is selected in our form so this is ask for approval now similarly again we will check action here if approval is approved approval state is approved now what we will perform we will as soon as it is approved we will create a catalog task so now here i will select the record here i will grip group provision task so this is the sample name or text which i have added and now here also i have uh, a click checked on approved one so now this is second level of approval that is going for group provision okay now what we can do is like we can check whether everything is fine so if approval is approved we are creating this user provision okay okay now one thing is pending here if you see i haven't added any stages till now in this flow in workflow we have much stages where we are adding a stage and a state simultaneously in particular uh, activity so now here also we can add the stages so i will just pick up the existing stages which already the system has so i will use this one you can create your own as well you can see there is a button add new stage and your stage can be added anywhere okay so suppose here they don't have anything related to new so let it be we will utilize whatever they have provided
okay so we will add one of them here add a stage this is waiting for approval here we can add approved if user provision is this we can add a stage as fulfillment similar way here what can be done here it will be waiting for approval here it will be approved and this would be fulfillment okay so these are the positive stages which I have added now here what we can do we can end our flow and here we can add a stage about completed similarly we can add flow logic one of them here this will be end flow completed okay so these are mostly positive ones now we will see the negative ones so here you will see group provision is fine here we have checked if approval is approved right but what will happen when else else we can end the flow here we can add request cancelled as well because we are rejecting the approval and similarly we can do it here as well flow logic and now else we will add end flow we can add request cancelled here so all the stages has been added and now I will click on save to see whether there is any error inside this flow or not and then we will move ahead and test the catalog item whether it is fine or not so let me activate this without activation this flow will never work so whenever you are trying to create any new flow and you have to attach that with a catalog item then you have to activate this catalog item at least a uh, catalog item flow so let me copy this name you can see I have selected this flow and this is activated as well and now let's try to execute and see both the type of user or group provision whether it is working fine or not <coughs> now I will select requested for year Suppose I have selected learn IT item Prince Kumar Request type is user provision So suppose I will add here XYZ role User role Alright Testing So in this case One level of approval will trigger and task will be triggered and then your request will be closed so let us try to open this request and see whether we have approval in place or not and now you can see this approval is gone to this prince prince kumar manager is prince kumar because and as soon as i approve it actually i have admin role so i can approve directly from here 
but if it is user account then he has to log in with his user id and then he has to approve this request and now you can see our catalog item is generated user provisioning task and you can see yeah you can see the task is generated here so you will see the stage is also under fulfillment as soon as our task is generated stage is set to this uh, fulfillment and now this is our task as soon as our task is closed so you see stage is completed and a state is close complete so this after completion of this task okay so this is the first level of approval which i have shown now let's try to test our group provision access where we have written a two level of approvals right so let's test that as well so now manager i will select this user and location can be anything and now here i will select some group i will select itsm app dev so this group has manager group manager that's why i have taken this group name as soon as i have clicked on order now and now you can see our stage is under waiting for approval because we have approval in place so approve first level of approval has gone to manifa you can see the manager is selected as manifa so let me approve from here so you can see there is a second level of approval which is triggered why because we have two levels of approval for this uh, group provision group provision this is the group name and you will see this tash debruska is the manager so manager is populated now i will approve this second level as well and now we will reload the form and see our task will be generated see stage is moved to fulfillment that means our task is generated see group provision task after two level of approval and now i will close this sc task close task and now you will see this stage is completed and a state is close complete okay so this item is complete now let's test the negative scenario like when approval is rejected so we can check for any any one of request type manager would be prince location anything i have selected user provisioning abc role testing now i will order now and i will reject this uh, approval to just check whether we have created a correct flow or not all right so now you will see our state is waiting for approval and approval we have requested so now what i will do is like i will click on reject so we have rejected this approval now we will see what has happened with this request now you can see stage is set to cancelled and state is complete so this uh, behavior you can uh, balance according to the condition or according to the requirements which is given by your customer so you will see no tasks are generated and the item is closed that's it request is cancelled so after rejection this is happening and it can be uh, changed based on the requirement as well all right so this is all about flow 
which I have added in our catalog item. So I think this would be a great session for the people who is struggling to create a flow uh, and try to use a on catalog item. All right. So this is our flow and you can add the stages also as your wish, whatever stages is required. All right. So this is the flow and this is our catalog item where we have added our flow. So please provide your comment. If you have any questions, doubts or queries related to this session, for more information, please visit the description section under this video. Thanks for hearing me out. Stay tuned for more videos. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel Learn IT. Thanks everyone.